Cooking in Quarantine, brought to you by Maggie and Nestle Carnation. Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking in Quarantine. Today we're going to be making an easy bread pudding. To make that bread pudding, we're using Carnation Evaporated Milk, also known as the cooking milk. So here we go. To start our bread pudding, you can use any type of bread that you have available. I'm going to be using hops bread. The important thing about your bread is that it should be at least one day old. So I'm going to cut this hops in half and just take some softened butter and just butter your bread. If you were using sliced bread, it would be the same thing. I'm going to put my hops back together and just cut it in a few pieces. So the next step for our easy bread pudding is to make a custard. To do that, I have here two cups of carnation evaporated milk. I'm going to add that to my bowl. Next, I'm adding my sugar, because bread pudding needs to be a little bit sweet. Then our eggs. And to my eggs, I've added a little vanilla essence for that flavor and some cinnamon. All you have to do is whisk this together. Next, you're going to need a saucepan. Now you need to ensure that your saucepan is on very low heat because we're going to cook the custard just a little bit to get it thick and then we'll add it to our bread. So you need to watch your custard while it's cooking. Whisk it constantly and we're going to cook it for maybe five to eight minutes. What you're looking for is a thick custard but not sweet scrambled eggs, please. So once your custard has thickened up a little bit, you're just going to gently pour it into your bread. The bread is going to absorb all the liquid. Give it a stir. So this is where we get creative. You can use anything you want. For this one, I'm using some raisins. So just go in with your raisins and give it a mix. When everything is combined, all you need to do is transfer it to your baking dish. Once it's in your baking dish, you want to pop it into the oven, 350 degrees, preheated of course. And we're going to leave it there for about 30 minutes. So our bread pudding is fresh out of the oven. We've left it for about 15 minutes, so it's cooled down a bit. And now we're going to cut into it. So here we have our easy bread pudding featuring our carnation evaporated milk. Hope you guys try this recipe at home. See you soon. Cooking in Quarantine, brought to you by Maggie and Nestle Carnation.